Global Pump started in 1977 and we're really excited to be at the Amex show this year, showcasing our mining pumps. This week we did the global launch for our new Worklamp range, which is the Zero, Zero Glare series. Um, so far the response we've had to this product within this series has actually been extremely positive from both the manufacturers, from the distributors and from the operators that have actually come past the stand. So there's been a lot of interest in being able to take basically the concept back to their, their businesses, whether it's the mine site or back into the manufacturers. They've been able to do a on-road safety lighting system and actually going to put that back into their mine site. So the Zero Glare product series is basically able to recreate the low beam cutoff line that you would see in your automotive environment and actually give you that no glare system for oncoming traffic on the mine site. By comparison to a long range, you can see the difference in terms of the oncoming traffic glare and what you will actually see. My name's Lainey Anderson, I'm from Mining Family Matters. And uh, welcome to our very special panel discussion today, which is mining making it personal. What I, I suppose one of the biggest challenges I saw when I moved into this current role was how much you realise that the people and the community and the culture are part of mining. It's not just about the business, um, it's about doing it, the whole lot got to come together. And I realised when I took on this role as production manager, that you'd get blogged not just from the likes of Bob, who at the time before in my old role was my boss, but also from the 300 blokes under me. And it's about controlling, uh, sort of managing those expectations and managing that culture to achieve results. Thankfully, Centennial Coal invest in their workers. If they see a worker that's got a bit of mouse about them, they'll invest in them. It's uh, an audience here. Golf players? Yes, it's a brand name of uh, a new generation of cap lamp. Um, it's a high-end uh, product as far as quality and durability um, and, uh, and approvals, um, and it's marketed at a, a very cost-effective uh, price, um, much lower than the other top-end uh, cap lamps. Uh -huh. Very, very durable plastic. As I said, it's got a toughened glass lens. It's not plastic, it's not a flick, so it won't go yellow, it won't scratch, and it won't fade over the years. It has an aluminium reflector. Most of the others have got a plastic reflector.